competitive event of today's program is one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing in this corner from Venice Beach, California at 321 pounds, Hulk Hogan. His opponent from Corinth, Mississippi at 240 pounds, John King. Hulk Hogan, some people call him Thunderlips, from his role in Rocky III. But of course, that was the movie, so this is the real thing. Six foot eight inches tall, 321 pounds, and the biceps, look at the size of his arms. 24 inch biceps. Size of many young men's waists. Right now, John King trying to put the side headlock on Hogan. Hogan picks him up and sets him on top of the turnbuckle. <laughs> just, just like a child. And King is embarrassed by that maneuver. Hogan just picked him up and set him in the corner. And now look at this, 24-inch arms, like a vice, grabbing on to John King. And he could break him in two if he wanted to. King goes over to the safety of the ropes. Jerry Lawler. You saw just moments ago, he'll be in St. Louis for that big Keel show coming up August 26th, as will Hulk Hogan. I understand the contract has been signed. We'll have more about that coming up in a few short minutes. We're going to try to get a word with Hulk Hogan. There is no love lost between Hulk Hogan and Jerry the Crusher Blackwell, and I understand each now have put up $5,000 for a match in which the only way you can win is to slam your opponent. I'll tell you more about that in just a couple of moments. But look at this. The magnificent wrestling machine, Hulk Hogan. The magnificent Hulk. But can he slam 500-pound Crusher Blackwell? If any man can, Hulk probably is the man that could do it. Ooh, nice maneuver by John King. Takes a head slam, slams it twice into the turnbuckle, and now the eyes roll back on Hulk Hogan. He's dazed, somewhat stunned. Mark, <clears throat> looking at Hulk Hogan, one can just imagine if he had no wrestling skill at all, he would still be a very, very dangerous adversary in the ring. But in uh -oh. fact, Hogan has so much talent. I think just from the look on his face, he's upset, he's mad, angry. Hulk Hogan now ready to take it out on John King. Knee lifts, three of them right to the chest. Watch out. Oh, oh, holy smokes. He spun John King into the corner and then put all 321 pounds on top of it. The Hogan power slam right there. Just lifted him sort of up in the air. Oh, close line and King goes down. Look at that. Flying elbow smash, and if King gets up from this one, it'll be a miracle. I don't see how any man can sustain that punishment. Suplex. Good night. Lights are out, I believe. Hogan putting on a wrestling demonstration now. Holding class. Count of one. Count of two. Three. Three minutes, 11 seconds. The winner. The one. The only. The incomparable Hulk Hogan. And the fans love it. Let's take another look by instant replay. John King just starting to move in the ring now. First of all, arm toss. Puts him across the ring. Then on the return, clothesline. John King hits the deck hard. Hulk goes in with a flying elbow smash right across the throat. And that's just about it. Now, well, wait a minute. He's not done yet. Apparently he is. The outcome? Obvious. Hulk Hogan stalking in the ring right now with Lord Alfred Hayes. In three minutes and 11 seconds, your winner, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with me in the ring right now, the man that needs no introduction, Hulk Hogan. Hulk, we're going to take a look at that last fantastic pin. You were devastating in this match. You know something, I came to Missouri for one thing. Every, look at this, look in the monitor right there. There's the host with a big suplex on the man. You know something, it's just a matter of time. Everybody knows the reason I'm here, and that's for that big Jerry Fatwell. <laughs> Hulk, 
it looked like you toyed with this opponent a little bit, and then he angered you, and you just put him away and nothing flat. You know, the thing was, I got this thing on my mind. I came to Missouri a few, few weeks ago and entered the Missouri State Tournament with 20 different wrestlers. I was on my way to becoming the Missouri State Champion, and I ran into Jerry Fatwell, one of the meanest, one of the most strongest men in the world today. And since that day, I was booked back in St. Louis in a six-man tag. I tried my best to get my hands on him, but he kept running. Now it's came down to this. Jerry Blackwell's gone all around the great state. He spouted off that the Hulkster can't get the job done, that I want him on a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. And then he ran his mouth off and said, hey, big boy, let's put five grand up. See who's the strongest man in the world. He challenged you. He challenged me, and I accepted the challenge as soon as I heard it. For five grand. You put that money on I the line? I put five grand up. Jerry Blackwell put five grand up. The first man that can pick his opponent up, press him over his head, and slam him to the mat, wins the $5,000 and the match. All right, fall, falls don't count. Pins don't count. You must slam your opponent. Well, this is the thing. The falls don't count. The pins don't count. But nobody says, after I slam the man, after I take his money, nobody says that I have to stop there. Who's to stop me after that? I can beat this man. I can give him what he deserves. And you know something? Jerry Blackwell, you probably not, never thought I'd get in the ring with you. But let me tell you, your day's here now, and now the Hulkster's going to prove I can slam you, I can take your $5,000, and Hulkamania's running wild right here. I've got fans all around the ring right now that want to see me do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know something? After I slam Jerry Blackwell, after I slam you, Fatwell, I'm not going to stop at that. I'm going to take a little bit of your hide up because you're too fat, boy. Well, Hulk... Let's be realistic. First of all, I don't know of any opponent that has been able to pick up 500 pounds and slam him. Any special training for this? You think you can do it? Let me tell you something. Nobody yet has seen the holster pick anybody up right here because I just came into the area. But grant my words, I had him up in the air. I was getting ready to slam him last week in St. Louis. And big black Jack Mulligan pulled my legs out from under me, Daddy. That's all it was. It was a man saving fat will. But now it's a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. And Blackwell, this is where the power lies. The superhuman strength, the 24-inch pythons. And I can't wait to get them around your waist and squeeze some of that fat air out of you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from the Hulk. The match, the contracts have now been signed. It is official. You've signed on the dotted line. You put the $5,000 up. Heel Auditorium, August 26, right? I tell you, it's going to be like thunder and lightning. I want everybody to be there. Hulkamania is running wild in St. Louis. And Jerry Fadwell, you better eat a lot of bacon and eggs, Daddy, because I can press a thousand pounds over my head if that's what it takes to get the $5,000 off you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only Hulk Hogan right here. <laughs> my Lord. 24 inch biceps. Thanks a lot, little dude. Th thank you. We'll be back with more action coming up on Wrestling at the Chase right after.